Hey, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so day five of quarantine. Mmm, quarantine stress. Great. Um, I hope you guys are just, um, trying to be as happy and healthy as possible. Um, I'm not really going to touch too much on this subject just because I feel like it's just been talked about so much and I just want to sit down and do this video with you guys um, and just kind of like bring some fun and distraction about what's been going on. Um, hello and welcome if you are here from the future. Uh, hopefully this is all blown over um, but today I am going to be talking about hacking pumps and how to hack pumps, what you need to hack pumps, um, yeah, I have a ton of pumps sitting here next to me, and I'm going to show you guys how to hack all of these pumps. Um, most of the pumps that I have here are pumps that are on the market now. Um, some of them I don't have, but I have the hacks for them, and then some pumps I don't have, um, so I can't necessarily show you the hacks, but, um, there is a main hack, which I will show you, that can pretty much go with any pump. Um, you might just have to do a little bit of tweaking here and there, but kind of once you get like this main hack, you should be able to hack your pump. So let's just jump in. Um, I will leave some timestamps about when I do certain pumps, but I'm going to be showing you hacks on the Motif Luna, the Spectra S1 and S2, because these are both the same, um, the Freestyle and the Motif Duo, and I'm also going to be doing the Baby Buddha and the Medela Sonata and the main um, kind of hack, which will should be able to go with any pump. So I do want to say that the this hack that I'm going to be showing you guys um, is to hack Medela parts with any of these pumps. Um, you can also use Spectra parts as well. Once you kind of see this main hack, you should be able to kind of figure out how to hack your pump, bleh, hack your pump with the parts that you like using. Because I don't like really using the Spectra parts with the Spectra pump. I use the Medela parts, so I've hacked them. Um, with the Medela Freestyle, I've hacked it so that I can use the original um, Medela parts, so not the freestyle parts. I just don't really like them. I feel like they're kind of bulky and heavy. So I've just hacked this pump so that you can use the original Medela parts. Same with the Motif Duo. I've hacked it so that you can use the Medela parts. And um, you can also use the Spectra parts with these as well. Alright, so let's jump into it. Um, let me just get... Uh, the couple. All right. So the first thing that you want to get, which you actually get these um, with your Spectra pump. Um, let me just take some of this stuff off. So you want to make sure that you have backflow protectors. That's the first thing that you want to get. You can get these off of Amazon. Some of the pumps actually come with them um, and use those. So it should be this little plastic part that has like the little thing, and then there's the membrane that goes over it, and then there's the big. Um, back that has the little thing that sticks out. So you want two sets of these. You can get them off of Amazon. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. And then you want this connector, which May Mom makes. It's yellow. Um, this, this is like the newer version. The older version was a little bit smaller. Um, I like the newer version a little bit better. It's easier to clean. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So these just go right on this puppy and I will put this one on here. So this is essentially what you need. Once you have this, you can essentially hack any pump. Um, you just need some tubing. So now the tubing that you want to get and most Spectra pumps come with this tubing and the Motif uh, Luna comes with this and the Motif Duo. So you just want some like regular like stretchy um, tubing just like this. So it has um, nothing on either side. It's just like you can cut it. So you want that. The next thing that you want to do is take that tubing and stick it on the back of your backflow protector. So you take your contraption here and your Medela connector and you literally just stick this in the back. And so now this pump part or this tubing part goes into either these little holes here 
right there. Goes right in. I'll show you guys. So it goes right in there. So then you're all set. This is you can do this for um, double pumping as well. So then here's the Luna, and it can go right in here. These ones are a little bit closer together, I feel like, than the Spectra. So then, there you go, and your bottle part can go down there. Then, for the Duo, it's the same thing. Anything that has those little spigots there can um, completely be used to hack. So then you have your backflow protector, so it's completely sanitary, like milk's not going to get into the motor of this. And um, it's the sort of the same for the um, Sonata, except with the Sonata, so the Sonata can't, comes with tubing that looks like this, and it has this. The only thing that I added, so the tubing normally has this little thing here, I do actually have a video on how I... Uh, hacked that so I'll leave it up above but I literally just cut some of that tubing that I was just talking about I just cut it you could cut it even shorter than this and I just stuck it right on like that and then I took my backflow protector and just stuck it on like this and then it goes into my original Medela parts so then now whoops there's so many tubing so then now this part goes right into um, the Sonata and I can use it with my Medela parts. It's a little bit of tubing. It's like kind of intense amount of tubing. But honestly, I don't mind because I really like using the parts. Okay. So now that's like the main hack. So once you guys get this down, once you guys get this, it can literally go with any pump. Like I said, that has those little spigot things. So a lot of people ask me, they're like, how do I hack this pump? How do I do that? Um... This this hat can go with any of those pumps that I showed you. So now let's take the pump like the Baby Buddha, which kind of has like that different tubing. It's like this Y thing. It's a little bit confusing. You're like, oh my god, I don't I don't know how to like hack this. Okay, so the tubing has these little white things on the ends normally. So what I did is I just ripped it right off. So see how this one? It just it literally looks like I don't know goldfish like fish tubing or something. Um, I ripped it off. So then now the, oh, there we go. So now the tubing doesn't have the little white parts at the end. It's just bare. That's kind of like the trick is that you want the tubing on the ends to be bare. But then it goes all the way up and it hooks into the pump. So then you just take your backflow protector that you bought off of Amazon and you literally just stick it right in there. And then you take your Medela connector and you just connect. And now it's hacked. Um, the other thing is uh, Baby Buddha actually has a really good link on their website, which I'll link down below, to show you how to hack this pump with um, a ton of different uh, like pump parts, like a lot. So I'll definitely hack that down there below for you guys. So I know you're probably wondering, wait, what about the Freestyle? So Freestyle has some weird tubing. They definitely do. Um, I ripped off, so they, they, their tubing, excuse me, I can't even speak, their tubing is a little bit like the, um, uh, the Baby Buddha. It has like a little spigot thing on here. Mine doesn't have it, but the tubing for, um, the Freestyle, excuse me, can't even think, the tubing for the Freestyle has this thing at the end that goes into the pump right here. Yep. And then on the other ends, which I don't have them, but there was like another kind of thing on the end that looked a little bit like this, another little piton spigot thing. Rip those right off. It's really hard to take them off. You're gonna feel like, oh, like this doesn't come off, like Kim lied. No, I didn't lie. Like they're pretty big because they're supposed to go into that little hole there. Rip them right off. And mine actually kind of stretched a little bit, so I just like cut the end of my tubing. You literally just take your backflow protector again and you just stick it right in there. And then now you can use your freestyle with original Medela parts. And you don't have to wash that weird backflow protector that they have. You can just um, wash, you know, these ones and this. You don't have to... I just, like, don't really like the uh, freestyle original parts. I, I'm just, like, not too wild about them. But if you guys like them, you know, do it. Like, you don't have to do any of these hacks if you don't want to. So another thing that I wanted to... Well, another thing that I wanted to kind of chat about the backflow protectors is a lot of people are like, 
you know, how often should I clean them? How do I clean them? How do I know if, um, you know, I should change them? Like that type of thing. Um, so what I do is I don't clean these like daily. I clean them probably once a week or change them out once a week. Um, if there is condensation in them or it looks like there's wet or water in them, it shouldn't be milk. The only time that there would be milk would be in this section here, like this plastic. Um, in between this guy and this, there should there would only be milk in there. There should never be milk like in this part. If you ever get milk in this part, it means that you're getting milk into your tubing, which could ruin your pump. Um, so if you ever get milk in them, then you definitely want to change these out. But if there's just like condensation, just water, clear water, all you have to do is like at the end of the night, end of your day, take them apart and just let them air dry. And then in the morning, they're completely fine. Um, if you see that there's mold in it, obviously you should change those, but I don't change mine regularly. I don't even sterilize them regularly because milk shouldn't get in here unless you're like spilling your milk everywhere. Um, so I just replace them once a week and that really like cuts back on a ton of time and cleaning. Um, the other thing about like how to kind of clean this little spigot is I just get like the teeny tiny bottle brush. You can get them off of Amazon and you can just stick them right in there and just run hot, hot soapy water in there and it's fine. A lot of times I actually just had one of these little tiny things rip off. Um, so instead of like pulling these down, you really want to try and do a twist. Uh, but I, the one that ripped off, I think was like pretty old. So they do, you know, they do kind of have a shelf life, but you really shouldn't have to like replace these um like after five or six months like they should be good the only thing that you would want to replace is this the white membrane and so i replace mine probably every three to six months depending so this one's good and the reason why i can tell that is because it's kind of like difficult for me to push it on not like really difficult but it's just I have to kind of work it on. You'll notice when you go to stick this on and it just kind of like flops on a little and it's not, it's not like, it's not difficult to put on. That's when you want to replace those white membranes. Um, and also if you push these together and it just sits in there, you don't actually need to push it in. If it just goes in with no force, then you definitely want to replace that. Um, membrane. Um, I replace mine every three to six months. Again, like I'm an exclusive pumper. So for somebody who uses these maybe once a day, you probably only have to replace these like once a year, maybe twice a year. Um, it really depends on, you know, your kind of pump and just how long you're pumping and that type of stuff. But you don't need to be washing this every single day and sterilizing it. I feel like that's ridiculous. There, if there's not milk in it, like it's not gonna get dirty unless you like dropped it in the mud or something. So I'm trying to think if there is, I know I don't have like all of the pumps here uh, to show you guys like every single hack, but like I said, if the pump has, um, you know, these little spigots, then you just hack it with, you know, this general hack here. And if the pumps have, you know, these kind of spigots on the pumps. If the tubing has this type of spigot on the end, literally just rip it off so that the tubing looks like this at the end. The general kind of rule that I do is any pump can be hacked. Even the Sonata that these little things like don't, I mean, you could probably rip these off, but I like tried to, you could even like cut it. Like I'm, I don't know why I didn't just cut it. Okay, my son just needed me for a minute. What was I talking about? I think the Sonata tubing. Um, okay, yeah, so you, so the Sonata tubing has this weird thing that I wasn't actually able to rip off. I could actually have cut it and just, um, used it to stick it on, like, that way, but, um, I just did it this way just because I didn't really want to, like, ruin the tubing that much. Actually, I think this tubing is a little bit too thick. Yeah, it's actually way too thick to, um, go on these backflow protectors. Oh, no, maybe not. Well... I feel like it might be but anyway so like once you guys kind of get the idea of like how to hack in that general sense you should be able to hack any of your pumps and I did want to just kind of do this general hack video because a lot of you guys like ask me you know how do I hack my pump 
will these parts work with this pump and a lot of times like you can get uh, any pump part to work with any pump so you just kind of have to like figure out okay so like my connector you know like has this hole in it and then I can sort of you know go from there like you know check and see what kind of connector you have I know that the spectras can totally be hacked to use um, any pump like you you know you could probably hack your motif duo so that you could use the spectra parts as well and it's like generally the same you just like put this on the spectra parts I don't have any spectra parts right now to show you guys um, I gave them away to a friend uh, so you know it's just but like think about it like you kind of don't ever want to hack the part that goes into the pump except if the pump has these two little spigots here that the spectra and the motif pumps have so like the sonata just has this one kind of entrance and so does the uh, the baby Buddha so you don't you know you want to make sure that you're not like hacking that part you really want to hack the part that goes that's closest to the pump parts if that makes sense oh and totally forgot um really wanted to talk to you guys about the LV pump my review is coming out um I just I haven't gotten my review out because of like the whole corona thing and um I'm actually looking to try and get my hands on some inserts for it and I want to make sure that these inserts work really well before I give you guys my full review just because um the flange sizes there's only like three sizes so I really want everybody to be able to use the pump kind of before I give it a review but if it doesn't work out like obviously you know I'm gonna give you guys like my honest review oh my gosh but I just really wanted to give it a really good try uh, before kind of giving it my full full review so so far I do really like it but um, like I said the flange size is kind of an issue right now so I'm trying to sort of figure that out before I give you guys um, my full review so it is coming don't worry yeah, I hope that this video helped you guys um, I really enjoyed making it because I've wanted to make it for a while and just to you know help you guys really figure out what pump parts work best for you and if there are any other like pump related hack related videos you guys want me to do definitely comment below and i hope you guys are staying happy and healthy and i will see you in my next